Are you thinking of creating a raised garden this summer? Let's see how easy this pin is. After pulling up last year's pallet garden and deciding how big we wanted this year's garden to be, my husband started framing out the sides. He added a few small touches for me like side seats and a long bench that goes across the entire back. It took a lot more dirt than we thought to fill this garden up. We used compost, topsoil, and peat moss. My husband also built these cute walkways to place in the garden wherever I wanted for easy access. Before we filled the garden up completely, I used a stain to protect the wood. After the stain dried, we took down a piece of our fence and finished filling up the garden with dirt. Here is my garden in full swing. I like the big bench in the back because I'm able to set my flower pots and little knickknacks on it. I am totally in love with how this looks. I love my garden this year. I wanted to take it up a notch from the pallet garden last year, so after we tore that up and we built this, my backyard is beautiful. I love it. It's quite expensive. Um, we spent about $250 on the dirt. We started out buying bags with compost and just regular topsoil, and we were mixing that together. After we spent about $200 on just bags, we decided to take the truck and head over and just get a big load of topsoil in the back. Ended up being about $30. So after $250 of dirt, my garden is almost full. Uh, we spent about $200 just on the wood for the framing and the bench in the back. Um, so it can get quite expensive if you don't watch your costs. However, this is a total successful pin and you should try this at home. Don't leave yet. Wait, wait, wait. Have you subscribed to my channel for daily DIY Pinterest videos? What are you waiting for? Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you and we'll see you next time.